Well, after spending decades in the world of finance, two Chicago business leaders are betting big on a new motion picture. WGN's Julian Cruz looks at why they are backing Story Avenue. Hey guys, a private screening of the new film Story Avenue to be held tomorrow night at the Music Box Theater. The local Chicago backers of this project hoping to provide a platform for talented and determined black and brown screenwriters, actors, and directors. You're gonna have to stop talking so much. I can't even hear myself think. Versatile actors Luis hey, Guzman and Asante nice Black you. delivering powerful performances in Story you. Avenue. It's a surreal moment to share this film that's so close to my heart. Writer-director Aristotle Torres' new film critically acclaimed at the South by Southwest Film Festival. The film's about family. It's the family you're born into versus the family you choose. This was a way that we can kind of invest and also help tell our stories out there. Investment banker Martin Cabrera, who grew up in Little Village, and partner Robert Aguilar, the son of a factory worker, investing in the project. To see more of uh, people like us on the silver screen is important to us. You know what? They don't even come from Cuba. Can you believe that? Story Avenue set in New York, but the depictions of urban life with all its challenges happening in cities across the country. So growing up in Little Village, a lot of my friends were also taggers and graffiti artists, so that's who Asante's role was. Introduce. Asante Black's character, a graffiti artist, who faces difficult challenges. There's so many people in black neighborhoods, Latino neighborhoods, that are facing those same challenges, and the script just spoke to me. At a special private screening at the Music Box on the north side tomorrow, Chicagoans getting their first look at Story Avenue. Final details are still being worked out, but director Aristotle Torres looking to a national theatrical release later this year. In the Loop, Julian Cruz, WGN News.